Five and Dime Theatre Company has been producing live theater in Jacksonville for 12 years and just recently moved into the Florida Ballet for a year-long residency. Bradley Akers is the Managing Artistic Director for the theater and he joins me now with details on this month's show, Tick, Tick, Boom. Welcome back to FCL. Thank you. Thanks for All having right, me. All right, so tell us about Tick, Tick, Boom. What's it about? Yeah, Tick, Tick, Boom is written by a man named Jonathan Larson who wrote Rent, so a lot of people oh, are really? familiar with that. Oh, wow. No kidding. Yeah, and he wrote this semi-autobiographical musical about his life struggling as an artist in New York uh, so his his girlfriend wants to move his best friends making big bucks and he's stuck waiting tables while trying oh, to wow. write the next big American musical so oh, wow yeah so it, it, it talks about that struggle he's also just about to turn 30 and he thinks have I done what I'm here to do right. in the time or should I take a big marketing job yeah that's interesting I remember when I was like hitting 30 like in real life and you're kind of thinking like oh wow have I done enough right, <laughs> right. no it's kind of interesting that'd be very cool so you're the, you are the managing artistic director, That's right. but you're also in the musical, correct? Yes. All yeah. right, so talk yeah. to me about juggling that. Yeah, it's a lot to juggle. Um, I, getting back on stage is a rarity for me as I try to focus on running the company, and mm -hmm. I am a director around town, but this show sort of spoke to me in a way that a lot of others don't. Um, I'm turning 30 this year. I've you know, certainly been faced with a lot of what Jonathan was faced where, you know, I want to pursue my dreams right. of theater, but in Jacksonville, that, that is challenging. It can be. So I always <laughs> say, you know, am I compromising or am I persevering? And that's the big question of the show. Right. And so is that really why you're so passionate about this show? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So kind of expand on that a little bit. Yeah. I, I think that um, anytime that we can pay homage to a writer's work, uh, you know, we all know Jonathan Larson's Rent, but a lot of us don't know his other projects that he it's was true. working on. Right. And he had a very untimely death. So yep. this sort of pays homage to him. It celebrates him. And so, you know, I haven't sang publicly in like 12 years. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I, I love the challenge, I, I, but I also love telling stories. So Excellent. And so, you know, who is this show really geared towards? I think, I think anybody. So it's, it's focused a lot on artists, um, you know, with, with Jonathan and his friends being artists. But mm -hmm. I think anybody who's struggled to reach their dreams, who's struggled with what I was saying about compromising or persevering, uh, but also, you know, people who ask, how do I f build a life of love doing what I love around people I love? Mm -hmm. So it's it's relatable. You don't have to ever pick up an instrument or a paintbrush to, to get what this show is about. Very cool. Yeah. I'm going to have to check this out. So... Tick, tick, boom, is, it's not just on the stage, right? Right. Right, so where else is this is this story? Yeah, so Netflix did an adaptation uh, directed by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton, and it stars Andrew Garfield. The the uh, movie adaptation's a bit different because they're reflecting on Jonathan's life. Gotcha. Um, whereas the play, the stage version, is really more about uh, that ticking time of, of his 30th birthday approaching right. in a week. Yeah, 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 he's like, ah! yeah, it's like, it's a, yeah, it's like existential crisis kind of situation. So, so tell us about the rest of your season. Yeah, so Tick, Tick, Boom was a surprise addition um, to the season. So after this, we do a play called uh, For Peter Pan on her 70th birthday, uh, which is about aging and it's about family. Yeah. Um, and then we'll close out the season with Stephen Sondheim's Assassins. So oh, that'll be the cool. end of our season. Season 2024 has been approved by the board, but I can't say anything. <laughs> but it's a great season. That's All right, what about audition? real quick before we go how yeah. can where, where can folks find out of information to go audition for these amazing shows sure yeah all of our stuff is online the five and dime.org we're also heavy on social media Facebook Instagram and, and TikTok now um, and so all of our, our audition notices volunteer opportunities are always there excellent thank you so much hey, for joining thanks. us thank and guys you. if you'd like to learn more you know you can always head to our website firstcoastliving.net but for now Jordan what do we got coming up next